Oh, it's Devin Games. Hi. Right. You're the first one. I think so. Possible, possible. I'm just trying to log into my Discord. Not much, you know, not much happened here. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just try and do it and then, you know. Traffic lights, dude, come on, please. Just wanna log in. I hate Discord. I hate Discord. It always does this. Always fucking does this. You can't you can't just log in. That's not a motorcycle, but okay. Traffic lights. There's traffic lights everywhere, dude. What the fuck do you mean? Crosswalks, there's a crosswalk. Fire high dude, how did I do that wrong? Oi J Spartan, yo, what's up man? What's up? fire hydrant traffic lights dude I already told you those are the traffic lights a uh, new login detection detected fuck 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 you know wait my friend calling me hey yeah I'm done I need to attack on stream it Pa mogli bi da. Tamo ne onda moram jest, to je to onda. Sada ono oko jedan. Moš. Tamo nici moš, aj. Ćao, ćao. Sorry, that was my friend. He asking if I wanna play Division with him. Say yes, but later. Alrighty, so today we continue making our thingy here where we where we can um, choose some abilities for our uh, character, right? So if press K you have one handed abilities, you have two handed, you have ranged and you have staff abilities, which is basically magic. So ranged is a bow, these are obviously one handed and two handed weapons. If you like my braid guys, it's a cool braid, I, I got a braid, very small one. I'll just put it back here. Right, so you will quickly wash your face. Be right back. Okay, you do that. You know, you gotta wash your face. You gotta wash your face. <sighs> okay, so why did we do. Okay, there's a few things I know I need to do. Before we start doing any of this, what I would like to do is actually I would like to um, make it so the HUD here hides these uh, six slots whenever we're out of combat and whenever we're in combat you know it basically just uh, shows them so I don't think I'm gonna do that right now before we start doing anything else uh, actually I know no 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 that's not what I'll do uh, so this button is fucked up fucked up it's fucked up and the scale is changed on them so uh, I just have to go around and set in the scale to a correct scale. Don't know why that happens, but if you copy and paste objects, that what happens. Okay, uh, just like that. Okay, good. Now we want to hide this part, and we want to access our HUD here. And our HUD has a weapon hotbar and a tool hotbar. And I think in player UI we should be able <coughs> to do that. So where's our player UI? There it is. Visual Studio 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okie dokie guys, we got this, we got this. Okay. So uh we did this yesterday, but what we have here is I think we have our weapon hotbar as a variable in here. No we don't. Weapon. Or just we'll say hot bar. Okay, now we don't have it here. We have it in our combat. I'm pretty sure then. Um, in our player combat, we have no equipment manager. Oh, this is so dirty. This is so dirty. Let me just 
collapse these two. Control uh, hotbar. Inventory slots. Okay, so basically we already have these slots, these two slots and these three slots as variables. What we can do now is just hide the abilities. Is that unit 2020? Yes, it is Apple. That is unit 2020. This unit 2020.1.2F1. Not the newest one though. Right, so weapon hotbar. Oh, actually we already did that. All right, we already got their variables. Now we just have to hide them in our player combat. So in here, we'll just create a public function. We'll just create a public function that uh, public void uh, that will hide ability slots, you know? And what we'll do is we'll go for each um, inventory slot controller slot in um, primary ability slots we actually just want to go through it and we'll create a integer i that is zero just so we can track which one we you know are changing now we just want to go slot dot game object dot set active to false our, we'll keep with the naming so we'll call the stable ability slots so we'll go slot uh, dot primary ability slot okay and then we'll just say i plus plus because that's what we gotta do and that should really hide it now we'll create a new one called um, let's say enable and we'll do the same thing. So for each in here, we're just going to set it to true. All right. Now we'll call two for each functions in each one for now. Um, actually, what we can do is we'll, we can um, check all right in here if um, equipment manager. Do we have? Equipment manager is variable in here. Which one? Oh, no, we are in the equipment manager. Okay, so if current equipment four, so that is our secondary slot, uh, is not equal to zero or is not equal to null. So if we have something equipped there, we'll go for each. Uh, before that, we'll just say i is equal to zero. So for each inventory slot controller slot in secondary ability slots we'll just say the same thing so slot that game object that set active to false and we have to say i plus plus and we'll just copy this whole function into here and instead of uh, just setting it to false we'll set it to true all right um, I'll just create some comments in here just so I know. Uh, disables primary uh, ability slots. And here it disables a primary, uh, disables secondary ability slots. Okay. And we can just copy those just so I know when I take a look at it, I know what's happening, you know, it's just something I like doing. All right. So what we can do now is call these two. Oh, oh, hello, Hansel. What's up? You should make a tutorial on when an object touches another object, it moves somewhere else or duplicates itself in both of them, kind of like a aim trainer cube. You finally got stone tools in Discord Minecraft. Good achievement, bro. But Apple, I don't see what you're... Okay, when a... Which makes it when an object touches another object. Okay? It moves somewhere else. What do you need, mean it moves somewhere else? 
it moves somewhere else or duplicates itself and both of them kind of like aim trainer cube trainer cube I don't know what that means so I have to explain it a bit better Oistino this should be enables thank you hello hello well what is a aim trainer cube aim trainer cube Ah, uh, aim trainer cube. Okay, I get it, but thanks. Yeah, why would they? I don't know. I never seen this, so I don't know what what you're talking about, really. But okay, I guess that would be a cool tutorial. Although it wouldn't be a very good tutorial. I don't know. Good idea, but it's easy, very easy to make. So I don't know what you mean. Mm, okay. Now, whenever we enter combat in our player combat here, whenever we okay, if we get mass mass. Okay. If get the key down and grab the weapon, I suppose. Not holding a weapon and if holding a weapon. Okay, here we also want to call enable or sorry uh, equipment manager that enable ability slots in here uh Enter combat. No, we will not call that there. We'll call it here. It should move and it adds the score to points. When it's shoot, when it's shot, it moves and it adds. Ah, okay. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, that'll be a cool tutorial. I mean, I could make that, but. And here we'll just um, well we could do it like this or we could go to character combat and we have these so these are virtual voids and what we can do with them means that uh, we can call a public uh, override void enter combat and it will have the base, but it will also have combat, or sorry, uh, equipment manager dot enable ability slots. I think that'd be the easiest way of making something like this. Um, and we'll also have to public override void exit combat, and we would have equipment manager dot disable ability slots okay I think that would be the, like the easiest way of doing it because we already call these functions and I think it's the easiest one okay let me just give this a bit of space here it's so fucked up fucked up fucked up okay try it now what components do I have I have a Ryzen 3 1200 with a GeForce GTX 960 gaming edition, so four gigabytes video RAM. I have eight gigabytes of, I think, 3000 megahertz DDR4 RAM and some random motherboard that I don't even know the name of. And a power supply, of, I don't know how much, 600 something. All right. Mm, okay. But, 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 
we should call that one we start the game actually so here we should be like well we can do that in our equipment manager since we're already here in our start method we we have a lot of set set equipment slots okay what does this do set hotbar slots okay we can call it after that we can disable and enable after that so we'll just call it disable ability slots uh, but I gotta fix it so it disables the the so whenever we disable it we'll disable just both of them We can check actually if if um, secondary ability slots, and we'll just get a child of zero. I guess the first child dot game object dot is active. Uh, can I get is active? Active is if it's true. Set active. If why don't I know this? Why don't I not know this? Check if a object is active. Ready. Is when go active self active next what? Active self, never heard of that before. Active self, the local active state of this object. Okay, I didn't know that. So if it is active, then we want to disable it. And here we'll only enable it. We'll only enable it when we have a secondary, you know, in here. We have a secondary weapon. I think that should work much better, right? And now we can call it in in here to so disable ability slots. And now it should do it every time we play the game, right? So if we play the game, they're disabled. I go into combat. Now it only shows me the primary ones, but well, I can't show that at the moment. I have to go to my player UI and in my inventory just give myself a wooden shield. So I'll give it two elements and give myself a wooden shield. There we go. <clears throat> now to play the game. All right. So if we, there's nothing. If we take a wooden sword, it shows us sword abilities only. And if I go back, take this, it shows me both abilities. I did. Okay. What if I disable this? good it works okay that's good that's good that's good uh, right so that's good and now we just have to handle our ability weapon masteries panel which is here and uh, we can currently access it but first I'll start making some I don't know what Right, so we'll have to create some abilities in here. So this has a return button, a text, and it will have to have we'll create a we'll create a empty object called um, ability abilities. Right? And in here Oh NTK I don't know why always in school dude. Maybe stop going to school, just kidding, go to school. We'll have inventory slots of this, all right? So, for example, we have one. We have just one ability. Let's say that, all right? 
this inventory slot will have a item fireball fireball right and whenever we click on this it will have a on click function which goes inventory slot controller use which is not what we want is it no it's actually what we want so whenever we call the use button of our on our inventory slot controller we go and call the items use button right where's our inventory slot controller we don't know that okay we go use and in here we say if there's an item we go item dot use and that item dot use item dot use basically does nothing okay on our equipment if we use something we go equip manager equip okay and inventory instance remove okay so what we need to make is some changes in here in our equipment so we know it's a spell right so it has a it should have a projectile object met as there was a name script file singleton yeah it's a singleton manager uh where is it and where is it where is it singleton dot here right it has a player player ui and it just sets those and you can access them in any script basically yeah i use that sort of uh, design pattern yes 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 i did i did i did right so in here we're gonna have a boolean i guess um i'm gonna have a public boolean called uh is spell or is ability we're gonna call it ability and that's it there was a name is ability that will be equal to false by default right and so in whenever we use something here we can equip it yes in our equipment manager we call equip right we call equip here that's what we call so if we have a weapon that's what we do if we have a spell already can okay I see it I see it so my bad I thought I already I, I thought no I did that already uh, I forgot so all right so we have a few uh, if statements so if we're equipping a, some equipment if we're equipping a shield if we're equipping a spell that's all sorts of things we need to know um, do you have any videos on particle system I try to make muzzle and impact it went horribly uh, I think I do have some, but I don't think you'll find a lot of help with it. I have, I think, an explosion particle effect thingy. Uh, and it's fairly recent, yeah. Low poly explosion. I think I have a fire particle and a fountain particle system. I'll show you that at the moment. This is everything. Oh, yeah, I have a fountain particle system. And there should be a low poly fire particle. Yeah, those are that's it, that's it, that's it. Yep. Not much that. I never made those actually, so they shouldn't be too hard, dude. There's a lot of tutorials on them. Pretty sure Brackies has some. Right. So then we call the update hotbar function. Right. So weapon hotbar slot slot index uh, item equals to new. Uh, weapon hotbar slot. Weapon hotbar slot index. So we will not need that. We will not use that. There's six references in it. Oh, okay. I know, I know, I know. The weapon. Good, 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 good. I'm just make some space in all these dudes. This is horrible. Who designed this? Who was the designer of it? So this is equip. Equipping a weapon. Yeah, but no. 
So whenever we, when I equip a spell, what we'll do is we'll assign it to one ability slot. Uh, so basically, what we have to do in here is uh, create some some sort of a function called let's say equip ability all right and we have to check if it's a primary or a secondary ability all right and we can create a new way of checking that so here we only have spell we only know it's a spell in here okay but we can create a uh, public e enum called spell kind or spell type something like that and we can have none of course we can have um, what what do you call it what do you call it um, we can have yeah one-handed we can have two-handed and we can have ranged and we can have stack right so that's how we'll check which you know which weapon it needs to have for that so we'll, we'll we'll have a new function down here called public void um set ability and i'm pretty sure we'll need a few variables here we'll need a, a integer for our ability slot that's what we'll need where to assign it we'll need an item called spell and i think that's pretty much it so which spell are we gonna set and to where i, I just like to swap these two um, because that makes more sense for me i don't know why so int ability slot right okay um, what we have to do now is go and check if it's a primary or a secondary. Hey, we forgot something in here. That's my bad. Completely my bad. We don't have a shield in here. No one handed, two handed, but we don't have a shield in there. So shields should have some also. So what we'll do is just copy. Oh no. Duplicate that. You can't see it at the moment. No, 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 that's not it. What I meant. So now we can just kind of have a shield in there. So if we go ahead in here, um, we'll have a wooden staff, you know, we'll have a wooden shield icon. You know, not the best one, but who gives a shit? Shield. Shield should also have that you know that sort of thing um, this is what we call in player UI we need to fix something real quick uh, before that actually we want to just duplicate this and call it shield back ground and what we'll have in here is well we will not have this inventory slot though oh we can why not return button and text will say shield right just so we have that in there and in our player UI we should go and set something down here set weapon mastery uh, so one-handed so weapon master's panel return to master's panel so one-handed so what we do is one-handed panel where did we get one-handed panel oh here okay so we'll need a private image shield panel. It's equal to null, right? And we will set that. Set weapon masteries panel. No. I'll just call. We'll just have a function called public void set shield mastery panel is equal to bool state um, we'll just go shield panel dot game out data set active to state okay and we call this reference where 
Oh, there it is. Uh, so we just set shield mastery panel to false. Good. Okay. Now we can enable it, but I'm not sure where we get those variables. Where did I do that? Yeah, but where do we assign it? That's a thing. This is set character panel, set HUD menu. Then we'll have and here's an interface of the master's panel to master this will call masteries panel my bad so we have it's kind of sorted yeah but how do we set it though I'm not sure I know what I'm doing skill point no it should be it should be maybe in the menu so weapon masteries panel no, that's, that's not what I wanted. Return to mastery panel. Is that it? I'll just call these. But they're private, right? They're private images. How do I know which one is which? Should be a for each function somewhere. Do I have to really go through all of this? Ah, there it is. Okay, so yeah, we can just go and say shield mastery panel, or no, sorry, shield panel equals to uh, open masters transform get child, and then we can get child five here. Okay, and now everything should work fine. If we play the game. Oh, hi everybody! Hi. Oi, Ali Harris here. You got home from school. You made it nice. Saying hi, but going to grab dinner first. So be right back. Okay, another code. Um, so press K. Now we can go to Shield, and it has a firebolt in there. So let me just kind of remove that real quick. You know, it should be it should be nothing in there. Nope. Okay. Right. So good. Good. That's good. We added shields. For some reason, I just forgot about them. What was I creating though? What was I creating though? Uh huh. Okay, so when are we call manager equip? So when are we call equip set ability, right? So in our weapon kind, if it's a spell, we we have to call set ability, right? Set ability, and of course we need to assign something. So the spell that we're assigning is the item new item actually new item and we'll assign it to one let's say zero for now but you know we'll have to create a way of the player being able to choose which slot he wants or she wants oh hello perhaps mister perhaps yes perhaps set ability mm, okay so when we set ability what we need to do is go into our weapon or no we primary ability slots then we get the ability slot right and we set item equal to spell now I will have to rename this this will not be a spell this will be ability you know ability ability like that that's pretty much it. Okay, set ability. So now, if we go into here and we go into K, shield, or not, staff, set that there. Oh, it's assigned the fireball to our well, why is there a file fireball there? Wait, did I actually do that? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so if I go into uh, staff and click on fireball and do my return, if 
So now I have, okay, for some reason it said it there. So I called maybe that. I put spell in there. So if I click on the spell, I should set ability. And the spell. Ah, I see what's happening here. So let's just kind of grade that out for a bit. That's, that's not what I wanted in there. You know, that's not what we wanted in there. So we'll just kind of black it out for now. Oh, now I shouldn't do that. I, I don't think, at least. I think that's what I did there. So if you go K, staff, you gotta click the firebolt. Oh, it still does equip it. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll say. Okay, this takes us to another the whole thing that I forgot about. So we only want to be able to access that um, staff tree, I guess. The staff ability tree if we have a staff equipped. So what I'll do is I'll go to player UI and just give the player a staff real quick. Staff, and now we need a way of saying, well, that's a staff. You know, that's a staff. Uh, and in our equipment, I doubt there's a way of saying that's a staff. It's just two-handed. Right? So we'll need to go into our equipment and make that possible. We have none, two-handed, one-handed, and this will be renamed to ability, okay? And before this, in kind, it's a one-handed, two-handed, so we'll have a staff, and we'll have ranged also, an ability, okay? Good. Uh, we got two errors, that's good. I uh, equals to weapon kind that. Ability. I just change that just so it's much cleaner. Come on. What kind of open kind ability? So if it's ability that we have. Why did I start calling them spells? What the fuck is wrong with me? I don't know. But for now we can say that we have a staff equipped. Staff equipped. Okay, so in our items, where are items wooden, we have a wooden shield, a wooden bow somewhere. I made a bow by the way, and this shouldn't be two handed, this should be ranged. Now we'll not be able to equip it, I don't think. The bow definitely not. So staff. Instead of saying that, we can say staff. Alright, and what we'll need to do is there's magic here, but that should be actually staff. I don't know why I created those magics, but um, we won't be able to use it that way, in that way. So I'll just delete it because we can't, we just can't use it that way. Thought I could, but not. So magic, we just delete that. Okay, and the spell variable in here, we don't need it. We don't need it. Spell there. We don't need that. But we'll need. Well, we can rename it to. How we want. We'll just delete that, right? And now we'll get a whole bunch of errors in our script. So in our equipment manager, so we have um, down here whenever we. Well, we won't. We can just set that, right? So we'll, what we need is a new variable, a new boolean. Yes. That we called that we called staff. So if we put the staff, we can check that. You know. So if if uh, here we can just block this out actually and call it staff. You know. So if the weapon kind is equal to weapon kind that staff, then we go into set bool staff to true. And we'll play those animations. Now the problem is, well, it's not really a problem because we need to make it so it plays the staff animations, but the staff animations are the two-handed animations, or were two-handed animations. So, one-handed, two-handed, 
shield unarmed so range we're missing ranged somewhere here so i'll just create a substate called the range so that i don't forget it so i can forgot everything else you know we're not using it yet but it should be used so okay some kind of a cleaner look for this you know okay and we'll have to create a new state or substate that I will call uh, staff and the staff will have its own kind of thing there All right so we'll go well we can't make that yet we have to go into blender and make it the music to listen to boys hmm I listen I show I listen mostly to rap and there's two things I like listening there's this dude who makes I like cool, cool music. It's called it's called Ren, an English boy. And then I listen to like Hobson and uh, Eminem. And then uh, we got some Deck Nine. Okay, he very cool. Deck Nine. We got Lil Dicky. Lil Dicky. We got how is that dude called? Um, I always forget his name. His name is Locksmith. Lock Smith. He very cool. Uh, the game. Obviously, we got Kendrick, and then uh, we got J Cole. J Cole, my dude J Cole. What else? I think that's pretty much it for what I listen. Something like that, along those lines. Let's just have dump my head. There's probably more, but I just don't, just don't know it okay so we'll have we'll, we'll just take start and end of the um we'll take the idle also we'll just need to create one animation which we'll take from this and we'll just file save as well are we gonna make it so the staff is two-handed or one-handed so you know he's gonna be holding the staff like this so you know how are we gonna make that I mean I can make it right now um, just pop a few animation two handed animations in there so we got start two handed we got end two handed and we should have the idle idle two handed right right and we should create a few transitions to here and we have a up transition well from any state we can transit from this and we go to here whenever we enter combat here and our boolean staff is true right and we go here exit time and we begin this part whenever we uh, exit combat exit combat here and this will just have exit time that's it you know and now we, we should be able to equip a staff and do it cool I listened to pretty much just our last night I don't know what that is dude I'll google it wait okay so we have a staff yes it's two-handed weapon you know I will make it a two-handed weapon yeah it's fine like that Oh, rag tubes here. I I saw it stop. Oh, hello, hello to you too, my dude. Our last night. It's a band. I won't play the music right now. Post hardcore band formed in 2004. Kind of brothers Trevor Matthew. There's a lot of them. Oh, it's metal. Cool, I like that. I'll probably take a listen again right now or YouTube will ban me for ban me forever. Right, so what I'll do is I'll just save this as something else. Save as and this will be like combat staff attack one and we'll just need one attack, you know. It's fire spells. What not? Okay. I see what we're doing here All right so a staff I'll just for now I'll just delete this and I'll go into my 
weapon thingy, you know? Where's my base weapon kit? Hi, hi. Hardcore rock or alternative rock. That's cool. That's cool. I never list that sort of stuff, but I think that's cool. Behind the sword. What is this? What is this? This is not my my folder. I think I went in the wrong one. So I have to go into GitHub and then in there and then in there and then go to weapons kit and then way base weapons kit. You know, right? Oh, that's my bow. I think I I didn't show you guys my bow. It's my bow and my arrow. Arrow doesn't do anything yet, so I'll just show you the bow. So if if I go into uh, if I select it and go into pose mode, you can now just kind of like we so basically I got the mechanic down. I don't have the animation yet but it's pretty cool I like it a lot god damn I love it you know you can go like this and bling your arrow just goes I'm making I'm making my own game called ages to survive and right now I'm making it so you can use abilities such as fire bolts and ice shards and <laughs> magic you know <clears throat> that's pretty much it which I haven't planned that well, so this will take a long time, you know. Uh, so we'll just have this as the not local. But, ah, nah, not that animation. Come on. Okay, we'll go to global and we'll just take that and put it there. And let me just make sure that's in there, you know. All right, and just like that, we'll go into here. And say this, this, and this, and we'll go to the middle one. Control P, bone, you know. And now, if we move this, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. It will move with our touch now with Moses and Gandalf in the same. Is it a multiplayer game? No, it's not. It will be a single player, and you just have to make a shop in Unity, of course. Wait, uh, I recommend to let light overcome the darkness. Okay, I'll listen to it. No problem, dude. How to make a shop? Well, create an NPC that has its own inventory, which is a shop. Make it refresh. Have it a list of objects that it refreshes from. Then just have some kind of currency, given the amount of currency he has. Make a sell and a buy function. And whenever the player left clicks on an item in the shop, it buys it. And whenever he right, right clicks on an object in or item in his inventory just sell it and change the monies and everything not a game is blender oh yeah right now no no my game is in here my game is in here uh yeah that's splendor i'm making the animation for a staff shooting thing so we'll have staff attack one right and basically what we'll do here is just kind of you know so basically what we'll do is I mean that's all I can do <laughs> I don't really know you know he looks cool he looks like a model when he's doing that so we can just do this and just have that there also now what we'll need to do with this is just kind of rotate it a bit uh, now I'm not sure if this is going to work that well but we can try it That's good. So we'll just have that there and that there. Um, that's a bit confusing. Yeah, no, I actually never made a shop, so I don't know what I'm t saying. So please don't listen to me. Don't listen to me, please. I'll probably make it in this series at some point so you'll be able to see that's all I can tell you I have never made it I don't think
I'm sorry, I just went silent for a long time. Can you make 30 to 40 minute animation? What? Why would you make a 30 to 40 minute animation? Shh. Watch. You're a rat, you're a rat, and I can see what's Why'd you make? Uh, I was just thinking how to make a pop-up UI. Ah, pretty easy to do it actually. Well, this is not where I put it. Right, so basically he just goes like whoosh, and then a fireball should come out of somewhere. Out of his buckle maybe. I think he got a croissant here. Oh, oh. You guys, okay. Alright, in my city there's the best pecara. Okay, the, 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 the bakery. It gives the best, um, I don't know how to say those in English, so I'm just not going to say them. But I'm just going to show you why it's the best. Alright? Alright? Okay, you get a croissant, alright? How big is the croissant? Like this, maybe? From the shop, you know, you get something like this. Uh, maybe like that, if it's the biggest one, but it's not very, okay. You get the point. It's a very, you get a very small croissant. You go into this bakery, you buy a croissant. Look at this thing. This thing is bigger than my own head. This is the biggest croissant you ever see, all right? And it's the best one. And this costs about a dollar. Best thing ever. I'm just gonna have this then. Or we can make it so it goes like whoosh, and whoosh, it comes out, you know, because I don't like this animation. You guys shouldn't like it either because it's the worst animation you guys ever seen. Um, so I'm just going to go into here and just kind of like delete all that because we don't like that. Right. So in here, what we can make it look like is, you know, he went in there and we can make it like this. All right, you guys see what I'm talking about? You guys see what I'm talking about? Ah, no, I'm just getting crazy ideas from my head, you know. So that should be around the place where the fireball comes out of. So, you know, we'll just have that and this hand will just not be there. So we'll just put it back somewhere. Um, and we should have that, right? How does that look? That is huge. That is huge. That's a really huge croissant. And they have like pizzas. And you take one slice of pizza and what you get. Like normal ones are like this big. No, these ones like this. Alright. You can't even hold it. You have to hold it with two hands. Like It's like a whole pizza. I don't know, dude. I don't know how they make profit, but it's the best bakery ever. How much time will it take to make 30 to 40 minutes? What kind of question is that, dude? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I normally don't like. I normally just answer. But what kind of question is that? Thirty to forty minute, minute animation. What do you mean on a thirty to forty minute animation? I can create a thirty to forty minute animation in like two seconds, if you want to, you know. So I'll just go like this, and I'll press I, and just say location, and I'll go to, to thirty to forty minute frame. And just do this and that's it location and just play it and it can do this for 30 to 40 minutes that will take me like two minutes but you can make a completely detailed animation 30 to 40 minutes it will take you a week so I don't know what you're trying to ask me here what kind of animation are you talking about all right so we just do that I don't know that's kind of cool that's kind of cool. I like it. 
It can work. Um, yeah. Two hand pizzas. Yes, Mate. Yes, two hand pizzas, man. Those are the best kind. I think he means like 30 to 40 minute movie clip. Uh, same thing, dude. What kind of a movie it is and what what is happening in the scene it's very important um i don't know well it takes disney like months to make a 90 minute I'm exactly dude so i don't know what you're talking about do you want to go all out or not all out i don't know i don't see what you're doing there yeah your script folder stack oh shit i'll have to go to lunch in like 10 minutes Yes. What? Yes, dude. I is back. Okay, no, because did you get food? You got food, all right. I got food too. You missed the best food in the world. Uh, I hate how much, how many times I have to click this, and then I get this, this huge fucking thing that was just huge. Uh, humanoid copy from other avatar. No, we're gonna copy from this avatar. Yes, we are. All right, this animation is brought to you by Squarespace. Just kidding. So, in our staff, we're gonna have this in there, and we're gonna have this in there, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna play the ah, we're just gonna play this animation. Uh, whenever we without exit time, of course, whenever we I think. Croissant is built to be looking kind of thick. They're very thick, dude. Very thick. The best croissant in the world. If I started eating, eating it right now, it it will be like a whole lunch to me. I don't want to do that because I have lasagna. My making lasagna, right? True, actually. Too bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll just play exit time like that. And by what we have to do this animation right here, we have to go to animation. We have to go to events, and we have to add a few events right here. We're gonna, we're gonna. I forgot what the the, the function name is at all. So in our attack control, I'm just check. So enable and disable attacking. So we're just gonna go be like enable or no disable attacking, right? So we're just gonna call that whenever the animation starts. We're gonna go to the last frame of the animation. Uh, uh, that's not the last frame. Okay, and then we're gonna just add another event at the end and call it disable attacking. That's beautiful. I know, right? So now we can attack with our with our staff. You know, we can beat people up with our staff. You know, so if we take a staff, all right, all right. Oh, that'd be actually pretty cool if he can throw. Oh. Okay, I think I, I I think I did something wrong here. So this function right here, our events should be ah should be enable attacking. My bad. I did a oopsie, you know. I made a lasagna a couple of times as much as I love lasagna making it's a pain because they sell you so much of the past in a single box, so I end up making so much in a single batch. Dude, I don't know, my mom's making it. <laughs> I feel the struggle, I think, but like my mom making it, so yeah. Dude, times two animation, you know? We're gonna. We're gonna be oh no, we don't wanna go one unarmed. We got a staff, guys. Fireballs everywhere, alright. Uh, now I forgot what I was making, anyways. So, what I was making is. Oh, okay, now we can equip a staff, and whenever we want to... Ah, oh, I know, I was making... I'm going to make that and then go eat lunch, right? Um, so, basically, what we want to make it to be like is... Um, okay, I know what we want to make. Alright, so, we got this panel, background panel, 
and we only want to be able to access one-handed tree whenever we had a one-handed weapon we only want to be access to two-handed tree whenever we have a two-handed weapon same thing for the range and staff and shield right so we want to make it in the player ui i think that's where we put it yeah so shield mastery panel no that's not what we want that's not what we want um dude i don't know why you're complaining about making too much lasagna all right yeah i could eat that forever not forever i could eat that for a week straight i have to mix it up with like some other types of lasagna but i could eat that for like a week i, I bet you i could um what i want to make it is uh so we can access these right and i'm pretty sure in our button right here this is a button it's a big button right we can create it interactable so we can just go button dot interactable so in our equipment manager we have player ui don't we do we have player ui no we don't all right so basically what we're going to do we're not going to make that right now because it would take a whole bunch of other things and i yeah i got five minutes until lunch just to close up and i'll hopefully see you guys next time thank you all for joining You gotta make it, dude. You gotta make it, Novikov. I'm probably gonna stream tomorrow. I'm 100% gonna stream tomorrow. I actually don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's it from me. Thank you for joining. I had a lovely time. We did some progress on the game. It's, it's getting there. You know, it's getting there. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Join my Discord server. Bye bye.